And once that data was lost, calling Google support meant that they were not gonna give you any help because you were on a legacy account. And worse than that, even paying to upgrade meant that because the infrastructure was different, you wouldn't get support that would be able to retrieve the old files because they were on the old unsupported infrastructure. I'm one of those users that set up my family domain using the free Google apps many years ago, and I have 10 family members that use it for just Gmail and photo storage. Is there any way to get Google to re-enable the old storage options of my legacy workspace account? That's absolutely a challenge there. And so unfortunately, Google have changed the storage options available for legacy accounts. Google have completely re-engineered and re-architected the way that they are selling storage. And what that means is that unfortunately, the buy as you go storage options are no longer available for old legacy accounts. At this time, I do not know of a way to reactivate them. And unfortunately, the way that Google have gone in transitioning pretty much all of those free accounts into paid accounts over the years means that effectively there isn't really much of an option to do anything with old free accounts. Now, here's some thoughts on keeping one of those old accounts around. Even though you do have 10 accounts that you're using and if you were to consider switching them to a business account, you're gonna be up for a couple of hundred dollars a month in paying for business accounts. A little birdie told me once upon a time that those legacy accounts actually run on different infrastructure to the main commercial Google Workspace accounts. Now, I don't know if that's still true or not because that was a long time ago, but in the past, we had problems from time to time where data could potentially be lost on a free account. And once that data was lost, calling Google support meant that they were not gonna give you any help because you were on a legacy account. And worse than that, even paying to upgrade meant that because the infrastructure was different, you wouldn't get support that would be able to retrieve the old files because they were on the old unsupported infrastructure. Now. I don't know how much of all of that is true anymore. And I don't really care to sell you 10 licenses on your account. It's not gonna pay for my Ferrari. But what I would say is that I like having the safety of paying for my family Google Workspace account because that means that I can always call support. I always have the ability to get the service that a paying customer should get should there ever be anything that goes wrong with my account. So my recommendation there is that yes, it sucks that you can't get access to additional storage plans for your account right now. But I would strongly consider switching to a paid commercial business account, even if it's a business starter account. And what that will give you is at least the basic options of being able to add some more storage to your account. And hopefully that will meet your family's needs for Google Workspace. Good luck with that one. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group, all the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.